My name is Mike Zaskowski. I'm a Senior Research Program Manager in Microsoft Research, and today I'm introducing the Microsoft Research Sequence Assembler, a sample application that demonstrates the Microsoft Biology Foundation, the .NET Framework, and Microsoft Silverlight for bioinformatics research. The Sequence Assembler is a simple and flexible way to work with genomic data by exposing the features and functions of the Microsoft Biology Foundation, or MBF for short. The Sequence Assembler implements several features of MBF. A set of parsers for common genomic file formats, a set of algorithms for assembly and alignment of genomic data, a set of connectors for several web services for genomic identification, and a powerful Silverlight visualization called SilverMap for analyzing these results. I'm currently opening a FASTA file of different DNA sequences for Homo sapiens, essentially human DNA sequences. and the intent of this demonstration is to show the, the different behaviors and benefits and pros and cons of the different assembly and alignment algorithms provided in the library. The first thing I'd like to do is show how the assembly operation can occur with the Padina algorithm, Parallel De Novo Assembler. By selecting this option and submitting an assembly, just using the default parameters, I get a very quick result. I've got 18 input sequences. It actually generated two contigs in just over two seconds. Now this is significant because what essentially the algorithm has said is that in contig 2, the sequences 2 through 15 have all aligned or assembled very well. And you can see that by selecting this contig and viewing the assembly of the various sequences. However, sequence 1 did not satisfy the requirements for assembly and therefore is considered a separate contig or does not align or assemble with the others. This shows the limitations of the assembler and also of the input parameters because these all should align. And if I go back to the input sequences, I want to do an assembly using the Smith-Waterman algorithm and I'll use the ambiguous DNA and I'll submit now, what will happen here is this will actually take a lot longer to be performed. The Smith-Waterman is a pairwise alignment algorithm, and to do an assembly with a pairwise alignment algorithm using a brute force simple pairwise assembly takes a much longer time. Padina, the parallel de novo assembler, is uh, optimized to be very quick and for use in very large number of sequences and very large sequences. So in this case, you can see we've resulted in a single contig, but it's taken 32 seconds to perform. So the trade-off here is that we've got a more complete result containing sequence 1 and 2 through 18, but that it took much longer to obtain these results. And the important thing to understand is that when using the library, or any library for that matter, when performing analysis using assembly and alignment algorithms, it's important to understand the limitations and the benefits thereof. Thanks for taking the time to check out this video. To learn more about the Microsoft Biology Foundation, including more videos and download information, be sure to check out research.microsoft.com forward slash bio. Thanks.